Hello and welcome to the part four of the predictive analytics series on the 2014 Indian elections powered by Fuzzy Logics. I am Raman Rajshekar, Senior Quantitative Analyst at Fuzzy Logics, and with me I have Partha Sen, the CEO of Fuzzy Logics. Namaste and hello. As discussed earlier, today we are going to present a special section on Andhra Pradesh. So, Partha, why a special section on Andhra Pradesh? Yeah, a yeah, good question. I think that I uh, said in the uh, part three that uh, we ought to um, have a special section on Andhra Pradesh because a lot has changed uh, since 2009 uh, in Andhra Pradesh. Um, uh, you know, in 2009, uh, the Congress actually did very well in the state of Andhra Pradesh. Uh, Andhra Pradesh as a single state sent the largest number of MPs, Congress MPs, to the uh, the previous Lok Sabha. There were 33 MPs that were actually sent by the state of Andhra Pradesh, 33 Congress MPs that were sent by the state of Andhra Pradesh to the previous Lok Sabha. Right. Um, obviously, uh, we know that uh, the state of Andhra Pradesh is uh, going to get bifurcated. You have Telangana sure. and Simandra. Um, and, uh, you know, a lot of uh, uh, new political alliances, etc., etc. So, as is when I was analyzing Andhra Pradesh, uh, it, was, uh, it was quite a bit of exercise, actually, to uh, 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 do the projections for Telangana and Simhandra. So, I right. thought that uh, uh, it would be a good um, exercise to have a special section only on Andhra Pradesh. And I hope the viewers like it. I'm certain that they will. So, uh, can you talk us through the 2009 situation? Yeah, sure. I think that uh, uh, that's uh, the starting point, right? So, in uh, 2009, as I said, um, the Congress actually sent 33 MPs, uh, or the state of Andhra Pradesh rather, sent 33 Congress MPs to the Lok Sabha. And um, you can uh, see the party-wise performance here. So, Congress actually got 39% of the votes and sent 33 uh, MPs uh, from the state. Um, and then you have the TDP, uh, which actually uh, had uh, uh, six uh, members of parliament. And then you have the TRS that um, uh, got 6% uh, of the votes and um, uh, they had uh, two MPs. And um, uh, you had uh, one from the uh, Majlis Ittehadul Muslimin um, they actually won uh, the Lok Sabha seat of uh, Hyderabad. Um, so, uh, in terms of uh, vote shares, um, another thing that is quite interesting here is the Praja Rajyam party actually got 16% uh, uh, of the votes. Okay, so if you add, uh, uh, well, uh, well, let's not get into that right at this moment, but I think that uh, this is interesting to know that the Praja Rajyam party actually got 16% votes. Um, and it, it was a new party and they did quite well. Now, uh, subsequent uh, charts or subsequent uh, early in the program, we'll talk about how the alliance has changed. And um, uh, we got to keep this in mind that P, uh, the Praja Rajyam party uh, got 16% votes. And also uh, the TDP and the TRS were in alliance in 2009. That is true. The TDP the and TRS now. actually were in an alliance. Uh, you can see that... Um, uh, the TDP actually left uh, nine seats for the TRS, and uh, these nine seats were uh, primarily in the Telangana region. Um, so they um, uh, did not contest all this, uh, the seats in the Telangana region. They mm -hmm. actually left nine seats for the, uh, the Telangana Rashtriya Samiti Party, right. um, uh, headed by Chandrasekhar Rao. So um, those were the alliances. You had TDP and uh, TRS and uh, the Congress, but the Congress was really a uh, dominant in Andhra Pradesh um, at that time. And also, um, uh, you have to keep in mind that at that time, Andhra Pradesh um, had uh, a chief minister who um, was quite popular, actually, um, Y.S. Rajshekhar Reddy. Right. And um, it looks like uh, they, the Congress party rode on his popularity mm -hmm. and was able to have a remarkable performance in 2009, in the 2009 Lok Sabha elections in Andhra Pradesh. So how does the situation look now? How is it different from 2009? Well, for, first of all, we have to talk about the bifurcation. Yes. And uh, uh, the bifurcation uh, is as follows. So you have the state of uh, Hyderabad here, I mean, sorry, the state of Andhra Pradesh. And um, uh, you have uh, the state of uh, Telangana that is going to be carved out of Andhra Pradesh. And then uh, 
uh, uh, you have uh, this, uh, uh, you know, the uh, south, uh, south central part that is Rael Sima and the coastal Andhra. So coastal Andhra and Rael Sima uh, is going to form what we call Simandra. Yes. So there will be two states, uh, Telangana and uh, Simandra. Now, uh, obviously, the elections are being held in Andhra Pradesh as a unified state. But uh, the reason we want to analyze Telangana and Simandra separately is because the political dynamics in these two states are completely different. And um, I actually want to come to that uh, a little bit. But yes. uh, I did talk about the Prajarajyam party. Um, the Prajarajyam party actually merged with the Congress in 2011. Right. Yes. So uh, Congress already had 36% votes and the Prajarajyam party got 16% votes. So if you add them up, it's pretty close to like, uh, you know, 50% votes True. that uh, uh, actually the Congress had uh, a 30, yeah. I think, 39% uh, votes 39 so close and to 16. Uh, yeah. So if you add them up, it's like, uh, you know, more than 50% votes right. by uh, the combined uh, entity in uh, Andhra Pradesh. So they seem to be a formidable force. They, they were a time. formidable force. There would have been a formidable force in Andhra Pradesh. Um, nonetheless, um, you have to remember that in 2009, uh, Y.S. Rajshekhar Reddy died uh, in an unfortunate uh, yes. uh, uh, plane Dead crash. Yes. And um, his son uh, subsequently, um, uh, you know, here a, a parent um, of, uh, you know, Y.S. Rajshekhar Reddy, he sort of um, um, was projected as uh, uh, like an important uh, leader in the Congress party in Andhra Pradesh. Right. Uh, but um, he had some friction uh, uh, with the Congress party as such, and he uh, separated from the Congress and uh, uh, took reins of the YSR Congress. So the YSR Congress, by the way, uh, became a formidable challenger for the Congress party in Simandra. And uh, it's expected that they would do very well. Now, um, the realities, as I said, that the political realities in Andhra Pradesh, uh, in the two regions, uh, Telangana and Simandra, are completely different. Um, in Telangana, there are 17 seats. Yes. Um, the Telangana Rashtriya Samiti, TRS, is very strong there. Um, and uh, Congress uh, is also expected to do well. Actually, Congress uh, pushed the Telangana bill in the parliament, on the last session of the parliament. And uh, they're expected to do well. Um, however, uh, quite interestingly, um, as a lot of the political pundits were uh, expecting that there will be an alliance between the, the TRS and Congress, Congress, that did not happen. They are actually uh, contesting the elections on their own. They are two, as two separate entities. So that's interesting. In Simandra, there are 25 seats. Now, in these uh, 25 seats, obviously, Congress is facing a rout. Um, Primarily because in Simandra, uh, people are against the bifurcation of the state. You have seen that um, there have been a lot of protests in the Simandra region um, on this issue of bifurcation of the state. Uh, and uh, secondly, YSR Congress is uh, really very strong. strong. So they have um, attracted the, you know, the discontented voters, the discontent among the, the voters, the traditional Congress voters, they have been able to, you know, uh, capture that, that yes. uh, base. And uh, uh, obviously, they are very uh, strong in that region. Um, and uh, what uh, is interesting is that the Telugu Desam Party and the BJP are in an alliance, and uh, they are actually expected to do very well, this alliance in Simandra. Interesting. So, so lots of new things, you know, um, existing alliances uh, 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 that are, are the alliances that were there in uh, 2009 yeah. that are no more there. New alliances have been formed. Uh, parties have merged. Um, uh, part of the party, the Congress party has broken off. So lots of dynamics on top of the bifurcation of the state itself. Right. The dynamics look very interesting. So what do the numbers say now? Yeah, that, that would be the interesting thing, right? Other than the political commentary, I think that uh, what you want to do is to take the opinion polls right. and uh, see what the opinion polls are suggesting, right? Exactly. So it's one thing to have some political uh, dynamics in a state, but then eventually it has to boil down to the numbers, numbers. and let's see what the numbers say. Uh, let's go select uh, Telangana. Uh, so in Telangana, uh, we have two opinion polls, um, CNN, IBN, and NDTV. 
And I think that uh, they fairly converge on, uh, uh, they, uh, they're very, very close, fairly close on the vote shares for uh, the NDA uh, and the TRS. Um, uh, there's some divergence uh, on uh, the vote share for the Congress. Now, if you were to take the average, uh, here's what we are looking at. We are looking at three seats for, three seats for, for the, Congress. the Congress. The vote share is going down from 47% to 31%. Uh, the NDA vote share is going up 4%. Uh, they actually go from uh, two to uh, six seats, and the TRS uh, goes from two to eight seats. Okay, so so there is uh, there is some uh, uh, there is some change there, right? So there is a big leap in the TRS vote share. Uh, yeah, there is obviously a big leap because they look they have been um, uh, they have been agitating. They have been uh, uh, the, at the forefront uh, for the creation of a separate Telangana state. So right. it is no surprise that their vote share is going to increase, True. Uh, and that's what is expected that they are going to win uh, eight seats. Um, now, let's do a quick uh, what-if analysis. So let's say that if the Congress really gets 35% um, and the NDA gets 23% and the TRS gets 34%, then what happens? In that case, um, uh, Congress actually wins uh, uh, one more seat. Instead of three, they win four. And the TRS also wins one more seat at the expense, both of these at the expense of the, uh, the NDA. NDA. Now, on the other hand, if uh, uh, the Congress gets 27%, the NDA gets 25%, and the TRS gets 31%, then what happens? So now um, you are back to what the original forecast was. So it is uh, 3, 6, and 8. Now, so again, it uh, illustrates what we have been uh, talking about in our programs uh, from the very beginning is that a change in vote share, sometimes a small change, could, act, could actually lead to a, a significant change in the number of seats to be won or lost by a party. Right. Okay. So I guess um, we want to next uh, pull up Simandra and see. Definitely. Uh, 25 seats. So, so let's see what's uh, happening in Simandra. So in Simandra, if you were to take the Prajarajyam party and the Congress party for these 25 seats based on the 2009 opinion polls, they would have received 59% of the votes. Even though they contested the election separately, but if you add up their vote shares, that would constitute 59% of the vote shares. So from 59%, they are going to 9%. Wow. So, you know, uh, pretty obvious that uh, Congress is facing a rout in uh, Simandra. Right. Okay. Uh, the NDA, um, which uh, basically is the BJP uh, TDP alliance, mm -hmm. um, is actually uh, looking uh, very good there. Um, their vote share is going up from 35%. Um, so even though the TDP and BJP actually were not in an alliance in 2009, uh, we are aggregating the votes and coming up with 35%. So uh, uh, that's going uh, up from 35% to 46%. So an 11% increase in their vote share. They are expected to win a lion's share of the seats in Simandra based on our projections, 20 seats. Whereas the YSR Congress, um, the differential being 10% between the, the NDA and the YSR Congress, uh, which is, by the way, substantial. Uh, YSR Congress is expected to win five seats. Now. It is important to perform some sort of sensitivity analysis in Simandra. So let us um, uh, say that uh, we were to, if the CNN IBN poll uh, were to be closer to the actual vote share, um, so then we have 7% for the Congress, we have 46% for NDA, and 33% for uh, the YSR Congress. So let's see what happens here. So we get uh, two seats actually for the YSR Congress, and 22 for the NDA. On the other hand, if uh, we were to take 10% uh, for the Congress, 46% for the NDA, and 38% for YSRC, as per the NDTV projections, then we get five seats. So not much of a change. But look here, let's say that uh, the YSR, uh, the NDA actually has 44% and uh, so 2% less and uh, the YSR Congress gets uh, 40%, right? So in that case, 
they get uh, seven seats. Now, let's say if uh, for some reason they are even. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, uh, I'll uh, give 42% to NDA and 42% uh, to um, YSR Congress. And let's see what happens here. So, so, so now we have 16 and 9. So um, again, this uh, proves that uh, you know, the, the last uh, few percentage points of maybe even undecided voters uh, could actually make uh, quite a bit of difference in Sumatra. And um, I thought that uh, given the complexities of uh, uh, the political realities in Telangana as well as in Simandra, it would be nice to have a special segment on Andhra Pradesh alone. Yes, I think it was important that uh, you gave us a good uh, outlook on what's happening in the state of Andhra Pradesh. And I'm pretty sure that our viewers have enjoyed this uh, analysis on how we can link these numbers to the actual political dynamics that's happening in the state. Yeah, to all our viewers, uh, I hope that uh, you're enjoying um, our uh, series, the Predictive Analytics series, and uh, very soon we will have a tool available through which uh, you will be able to um, go in and uh, do your own what if. This tool will be available on our website, www.fuzzyl.com. So uh, look for it. Uh, we obviously, we are going to make an announcement and uh, uh, make it available uh, uh, to all of you to do this type of interactive and what-if analysis. Thank you. Thank you.